Hi everybody, it's Mike here, uh, Mike Corbridge from 21st Century Digital Marketing and I have Neil McLeod with me. Hi. Neil is the uh, the Google guy, I'm the social media guy uh, and together um, we, we bought this joint venture together for 21st Century Digital Marketing. Um, just a couple of things about Google Plus really. Um, Google Plus is a little bit behind in terms of the graphics to um, how we're speaking. So the presentation slides may be slightly behind. Just bear with us with that though because they do catch us up um, uh, and we will um, wait for them as well. Um, if you have any questions though, um, email them to us at info at 21cdm.co.uk uh, and we'll look to answer those as soon as possible for you. So, without any further ado, let's go straight into this webinar. Um, so, what are we going to cover? Okay, the first thing we're going to cover are the three big myths of marketing your business online. There are three myths that you think are given, and I'm going to shatter these and change how you approach your business and online marketing today. Online marketing is is a, it, 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 it's a myriad of, of confusion if you really don't know what you're doing, and, and hopefully we'll be able to help you um, uncover some of that confusion uh, and help you with your online marketing today. Okay, we're also going to cover for you the 10 must-haves for your website to generate quality leads. We're going to walk you through the 10 proven strategies you need to generate quality leads from your online marketing. Uh, and this includes Google, and uh, we're going to talk about four different areas of Google, and this is where Neil's going to help us. He is the expert in Google, and we'll go through that in a moment. Um, we're going to talk about search, um, display, remarketing, and engagement ads. Very brief summary of that. The, the search is the, the term that we all use when we go to Google and we're looking for something, and it comes up with many, many, many results in no time at all. Um, display is uh, adverts that are strategically placed around the website and I'll say Neil will go into that a little bit more. Remarketing is a must for any business online. It's a very, very clever tool that not many businesses are using as with engagement ads. We're going to talk about social media. Um, you know, I've been using social media for years. I've built a few businesses up um, using social media. We'll come back to that as well in a moment. Um, so we're going to talk about how social media can help generate leads uh, and more critically, uh, Build relationships. Email marketing, uh, how email marketing is going to fit into your strategy, uh, help you build relationships and ultimately um, get that sale uh, from your leads that you generate online. Videos, how videos can help you engage, get your message across very, very simply, um, and the impact that videos can have on your business. And then we're going to cover high converting landing pages. Uh, landing pages are pages that are very tightly themed to the message you're trying to give out with giving the person that lands on it the minimum amount of choices possible except to get them to do what you want them to do which ultimately is to give them your to give you their information so who am i i am mike corbridge um i started um or before i started out on my own um i spent 12 years in corporate retail uh with ck max and sainsbury's uh, and while I was at TK Maxx, I went and did my master's degree in business studies. So as well as getting down and dirty and, and living and breathing this stuff, um, I've actually got the academic background as well, which is quite rare in this industry. Um, so we can generally give great advice um, for businesses and, and, how, and, and how marketing can help them. And we can help them with strategy as well. Um, this is also me. Um, I'm a second dan kickboxing instructor. I have my own kickboxing club, um, Woburn Sands Kickboxing, and I've been doing that for many, many years now. Uh, and that's where I really started to cut my teeth with social media. When I left corporate retail, uh, I wanted to build this club up while I, I was looking for uh, another job. And long story short, um, the use of social media built the business up and indeed this other business that I built, MK Kickboxer Size, to a stage where I did not have to go back to um, work for somebody else. I was on the road to working for myself and setting my own organisation up. And it was a great learning curve. I uh, learned all about the social media and how it can help my business and how it grew my business. Um, and it grew revenues by in excess of 250%. Um, I went and studied social media after that and put some case studies together for other businesses, um, other business sectors, because I'd, I'd, I'd found this product that was helping my business and I wanted to help other businesses with it. Uh, and um, I'd, 
and on my journey, somebody tried to charge me an awful lot of money for um, some of the strategies, uh, and I decided that I could deliver this at a less price for the businesses that was more reasonable for them at a compelling offer. Uh, and this was very, very successful. The social, social media black belt went on to build hundreds and hundreds of um, social media platforms and work with many, many, many businesses, ranging from a small business to legal firms, catering firms. So very, very successful. Uh, and while I was on that journey, I, was, I, I, I came across mobile apps and understood how they could help businesses as well. Um, mobile apps are very, very powerful. And, and businesses um, that aren't on mobile are missing a vital marketing channel. Um, many people are now going mobile. The statistics are phenomenal. Google searches on mobile, or the amount of Google searches there are is about 60% on mobile. Um, so mobile is a serious, serious uh, marketing channel that any business should be looking at. Um, so I had two businesses working in hand in hand and they complemented each other. Um, and then I came across Neil um, through a mutual client uh, and through learning what Neil did and understood what he did, uh, realized that the two businesses um, working together um, could offer a powerful, powerful full online marketing system that really is designed to generate leads for businesses. So bringing social media and Google together, but more on Neil in a moment. Um, and uh, there's my book, Get More Traffic, 70 Traffic Secrets for More Leads and Sales. Um, so the book is designed, again, to help um, give people great value and great content and help them generate leads through their website. Uh, and in addition to all that, as if I've uh, got any time to spare, I'm also the resident expert on Seclo Sounds. Um, so every, every month I um, go to on Seclo Sounds and I give them tips on social media and mobile apps. Um, so that's a little bit about me. So um, let's just talk about Neil, uh, the other co-founder of um, 21st Century Digital Marketing. And I'll just hand over to him. Neil. Thanks, Mike. Um, I as well was a, a retail um, guy back in the day. I have started off my life in retail in WH Smiths and was a manager there for over 10 years. Um, last store I, I managed was down in West Ealing. Now, I always had a love and a like for uh, computers, and when the internet came along, I was uh, like a kid in a toy shop. It was um, starting with a hobby, really, building websites, and uh, I got a job with Easy Internet Cafe, which was a computer internet, the world's largest computer internet cafe at the time. So it was fascinating seeing all of these people using terminals. And it was standard technical court road, 500, 500 terminals it was. Um, so back in 1999, I kind of went on my own and were building websites all over um, North London, really. And we needed to be able to compete. We needed to be able to stay one step ahead of the designers and the programmers. So we took an interest in how people use the internet. So the more our competitors were looking at the design, the more we were looking at search and web usability. Um, progression from the design was the way that websites were built. So we saw that the web was developing standards around that time, and we fitted to those standards and realized that SEO benefits for it. So along came SEO, and initially it was easy. In fact, too easy, which is why there was an induction of black hat naughty techniques. We were what we call white hat and always have been. We were ethical in the way that we do things. So we got traffic to the website um, fairly easily and realized that we needed to focus on conversions. So the more business we could, the more leads we could get in there, the more people we could get in there, the more we convert, the more leads we're going to get. Simple maths, really. But as time progressed, SEO was getting harder and harder. And in the last few years, we all know what's happened. It's, it's kind of. Um, changed dramatically but it required more and more resources to get just one or two keywords on the on the home pages this is this is you know, 10 years ago so the real focus was looking at how we can get more traffic into people's websites more relevant traffic into websites and pay-per-click was the answer so pay-per-click started off um, in quite interesting quite an interesting way people were were willing to pay for larger volumes of relevant, tra relevant traffic through search, and this is known as search engine marketing. Then came mobile, quickly followed by tablets, multiple platforms, responsive websites, 
But behind all of that was one dominant force, and that's Google. So they then branched out into um, the, what we call the display network and other areas and remarketing, which is, which is what Mike's talking about earlier on. And we had to learn that to keep up. So our progression was really um, getting ahead of the designers, finding out about usability, beating the, the SEO trap getting more traffic in, getting more leads in, and being able to get more conversions for the traffic that you already have, making sure that that traffic was very, very relative, relevant. So we've been providing pay-per-click services for our clients for, for over a decade. It's become dominant with Google, um, but as you can see down the bottom of that slide, can you, recommend, can you remember some of the old ones? Now, the key one for me out of all of those is Overture and they were the pioneers of paid search. And I used to use Excite all the time, just like I use Google now. So there's some that have lasted the test of time, which is Yahoo, um, and there's some uh, Ask Jeeves there, which we all find on these little toolbars that keep getting stuck on our browsers. So that's me. Um, started off in retail, uh, found the internet, loved it, and were really progressed to beat my competitors. and get more leads for the businesses cool thank you so uh my job today uh or our job today if you like is to help you find one or two nuggets that's going to help your business generate more quality leads what i mean by qu more quality leads well we we can get your volume um you can get your volume um but what you want is quality leads quality leads that are going to convert into meaningful relationships and then meaningful clients and very, very simply, your job today is to implement one or two nuggets that we give you so that you can help your business generate more quality leads. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. So, first of all, let's go into the three big myths. So, big myth number one. Build it and they will come. Don't know how many of you out there have uh, built your website and thought, that's it, it's gone live and you sat and you've waited and you've waited and you've waited and nothing's happened um, you're looking at your analytics a little bit of traffic's flowing but you're not getting anything from it so building they will come guess what it's just not true okay if you built uh, a new business in Oxford Street let's use this analogy and if it was a little market stall in one of the little alleyways right down in the corner because that's the only space you've got you've got all that traffic walking up and down oxford street the busiest shopping uh, street in the world um how many of those people walking up and down there are going to find you do you think um I, I suggest either none or very 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 few and that's what you're up against um on the internet and when you're trying to compete with like-minded businesses within your industry so the big myth number one build it and they will come i'm sorry but they won't Big myth number two, you need more traffic. You only got a thousand people come to your website a month, but you need more, 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 more. Guess what? That's just not true. Uh, if I give you another example, if you've got 10,000 people coming to your website every month, that's fantastic, that's great. But if none of those are converting into real clients, into real business, there is no point in having that traffic. However, if you've only got 1,000 people coming to your website, and if you've got 10% of those people converting, you've now got 100 leads, 100 people converting to your website um, into quality leads. So it's not about traffic per se, it's about the quality of the traffic that is coming to your website. Now, don't get me wrong, if the quality of the traffic's good and you get 10,000 leads and you get 10% of that, or sorry, 10,000 visitors, you get 10,000, um, a conversion rate of 10%, and that's 1,000, then definitely better um, so it's not just about traffic big myth number three getting ranked in Google is the answer I'm sorry Google SEO guess what these days it's just not true um, let me take you back a couple of years now um, Google um, their ambition was always always to rank sites based on content content marketing is what Google really wanted but it didn't have the technology back in the day to do that so it's had to it's had to slowly but surely progress its tech or, or invest in its technology to be able to deliver that um, and then we had two massive changes um, to the algorithms called penguin and panda 
Now, Penguin and Panda um, had two very, very different functionalities. One was to do with keywords and one was to do with links. Google realized that people had what they called dirty links and um, they had keyword rich sites. Um, so the black hat techniques that Neil mentioned earlier to rank themselves in Google. Well, with the introduction of the changes from Panda and Penguin, and they continue to do these monthly, uh, any, any websites that were on page one through those um, strategies were literally dumped um, in, into uh, the, the big black hole of Google. Um, and indeed, we had many clients come to us at that time because they didn't have social media, they didn't have content marketing, uh, and they needed to crawl their way back up to uh, page one of Google. Um, then the big one came, which was Hummingbird. Hummingbird was the, the, the game changer. Um, Hummingbird allowed you to, um, or allowed Google to be able to rank you based on it, its co the content marketing. You need to be the authority in your 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 field, uh, and it has a number of ways to do that that are quite technical. Don't really need to go into them right now, but it, but it was the big game changer. So big big myth number three: getting ranked in Google is the answer. I'm sorry, it's just not true. Last analogy on that is you're playing Russian roulette if you're relying on SEO as your your number one traffic source because the algorithms are changing monthly, and what's good this month may not be good next month. So you're continually chasing that gold pot at the end of the rainbow. So your digital strategy. So to generate quality website traffic, you know, you know, we're going to look at you know social media. We're going to look at video. We're going to look at Google, email, and pay per click, uh, and downloadable info product, and much more. So these all form part of the strategies that's going to going to going to be part of your, if you like, your your um, your, your your online marketing um, system. So it's a systemized, it's systemized, uh, and it's going to generate traffic to you. So generally, there's three reasons for your website, three business reasons, uh, and I'll ask Neil to explain these soon. Um, so you've got a brochure website, you've got lead generation websites, and you've got e-commerce websites. So the these are the main reasons why you would have a website. So Neil, can you just explain the difference between the three for us, please? Sure. Starting with the brochure site, this is somebody who wants an internet presence. So they have business cards, various business collateral, um, they have letterheads, etc., and everybody else has got them. So the brochure site really isn't designed for people to come there and contact you. Um, it's really designed for this is our service on the internet and this is what we do. And everybody else got a website, so this is what we need to do. Um, there's no reason why that brochure website can't be a lead generation website. So a lead generation website is a website which describes your company, about, about you, your products, your services, but ideally would bring traffic in which is very relevant to people searching for what you do. And the idea of the site is that you will be able to get a contact from somebody coming to your site because they're looking for your products and services. The e-commerce site, well, you buy from an e-commerce site. So um, e-commerce is really leading the way for internet marketing. And if you look at the way that e-commerce sites are developing on, a, on a, an even weekly basis, it's amazing with all the reviews and the way that they display the products and the pictures and where the way that the, the big guys like John Lewis, Amazon, eBay, etc., they really get rid of irrelevant content when you're down to an individual product. They follow you around with the products that you've been looking at. Um, they really do lead the way in, in some of the forms of internet marketing. So the three sites, the, the brochure site, whilst it is just a, a normally just the presence on the internet, it's, um, it's part of your brand. It's your brand awareness. It has to look good and it has to be functional. So people are looking for to find out a bit more about you. That's a place where they can do it. Uh, lead generation sites, as I said, they're designed to bring relevant traffic in to be able to convert that relevant traffic into a lead. And the e-commerce site, they are designed to sell products. Thank you very much. So let's get down dirty now. Let's look at your website. So any clients of mine will know that I tell them that the website is the heart of their online business. Okay, you've got your offline business, your online business. If you're a 
bricks and mortar store, you know, the heart of that business is your store. Uh, and online, online is the website. So ultimately, that's what we're looking to do, whether it's brochure, lead generation, or e-commerce, drive traffic, quality traffic to that website. And it's going to convert into customers or indeed clients. Um, so if we look at your website um, front page as, a, as a, a landing page, for example, um, and you see there we've got the dotted line. That represents above the fold and below the fold. So above the fold is um, the part of the website that, that you, the person that's landing there will see on their screen. Below the fold is where they have to scroll down to. Um, so the top part, we're really looking for engagement. You know, we've got up to eight seconds to keep that person on that website. So the more we can engage with them early on between that 0 and 8 seconds, the longer they're going to stay on our website, which again then helps you with Google rankings and helps you get indexed and all those good things. But more importantly, it means they're interested in what you need to offer. So your website needs to have a, a specific layout if it's going to if it's going to engage people and if it's going to do what you want it to, which ultimately convert. Um, so the first recommendation we have is clearly to have your business name on there, business logo, something that they can recognise that's unique to you. Um, contact details make it really easy for them to contact you. Um, so have your email and phone number very very. Uh, distinguishable and very very visible uh, so they can just literally click or pick up the phone and get to you straight away don't make them look for these things um, then have your key message and benefits on that um, part of the uh, part of the website above the fold uh, it's about them it's not about you um, a lot of businesses make the mistake of the website telling uh, their uh, visitors that how good they are it's not about how good you are it's about the offer and the benefits that you can um, convey to your potential client because they're interested in what you've got for them. And then an opt-in opportunity. Um, now, to get that, you need to have um, what we call an ethical bribe. Um, and you can really do that in a number of ways, and we'll talk about that very soon. Um, but you're looking at a downloadable report or a downloadable ebook. Um, many of you um, have probably got my ebook, um, so that's downloadable and it gives great content and information. So that's in exchange for an email address. So we're looking to get that information to build the relationship up with potential lead. You can do this by video. Videos um, are a very, very powerful means of communicating with anybody. Uh, and the reason be because of that, it, it, it kind of touches emotions, a video, in a number of ways. Uh, if you've got a good video um, that's either um, a head and shoulder shot of yourself or if you use, for example, the uh, scribe ones, scribble ones that we've got with the voice, you know, you're touching people through different senses. So you've got visual, you've got auditory, um, and then also music in the background is keeping them engaged. So video strategy is really important to engagement and getting people to opt in and getting your message across. Um, and statistics show that there's a higher percentage of people um, will stay on your, your website longer because they're looking at the video. Um, and then social media buttons. Um, have your social media buttons visible. Make it really easy to people to, for people to connect with you on social media because that's the way, and another way you can constantly keep them engaged and keep them updated. Now, below the fold is really about trying to optimize the page for Google. People will scroll down and they will look. However, what we do need to um, have down there is, is a blog feed. So your, your blog, um, if you're feeding that through with the comments, then you're changing that front page um, regularly, uh, which Google likes. If it sees comes to, to look at you, it sees that your page has, has changed since last time, it will look deeper and it will start to index you. And that's the same with your social media feeds. Um, you've got your Twitter feed and your Facebook feed. Because these are natural sources of content and they're feeding through to your page, it's changing your page sometimes hourly at least and at least once a day if you, if you post on Facebook once a day. And then also it's an opportunity to just do some keyword testing below, um, which again Google likes. So it's not about putting dense keywords in, it's about meaningful keywords that make sense. Google can now read what you're, what you're putting in there and it will know if it's just keyword dense. And another top tip, but going back to the video, is that any, any, um, any speech you've got in there, Google can recognize it. So if you've got keywords in your speech, Google will rank it. Okay, so then we're looking at your lead generation marketing. So really here, we're looking at social media now. So this is the social media and the content marketing. So on your website, we talked a little bit about the layout, and then you've got the blog in there and the social media feeds. 
Uh, we work with the top five social media platforms, and there's a reason for that, because that's where most people are hanging out. But also, Google is now um, ranking your SEO um, of between 30 and 40% based on your social media. So the more social media you've got going on for your business, the more you're going to get ranked on um, Google. So whereas over a year ago, we would say, mm, depends where your demographic's hanging out to which social media you really should be going on. Now we advise, we'll get on all social medias because Google's ranking you. Yeah, it, it, it's looking at you and it's finding you. It's indexing your Google comments, your Google Plus comments, or your pardon, um, your Facebook feeds, your Twitter feeds, but also LinkedIn is highly regarded by Google. So if anybody goes and Googles my name, Mike Corbridge, you will see that I dominate it and right at the top there will be LinkedIn. And that's because my LinkedIn profile is set in such a way that it's really, really easy for Google to pick up. And there's also some key, key search terms in there. And then we've got YouTube. YouTube is owned by Google. It's the second biggest search engine in the world. Um, and every business should be on YouTube, undoubtedly. Uh, to give you an example on that, if somebody's searching you and a competitor, if all things are equal and you have a YouTube channel with videos and they've got the right um, tags in there, the right keywords in the description and links back, you are going to get ranked higher on that on that feed and your video will come up on that page as well. Um, so it just gives you an opportunity to get ahead of the competition. So in terms of marketing your social media, uh, what we then advise really is, is that you write in a blog at least once a week. Now, your blog can increase your traffic to your website by up to 55%. 55% that's phenomenal that is huge um, so that really needs to be the heartbeat of your website um, and minimum once a week you should be blogging and then right at the front there the social media feeds that we talked about earlier you then need to syndicate that blog out to your social media um, because ultimately you need to get the word out and let people know that your blog's there you need to encourage them to subscribe, and you can do that through something called an RSS feed, which you could also have on your website. But ultimately, once you've taken them to your blog out to your social media, it's linking back into, um, sorry, it's linking across to the different social media platforms, but then ultimately, it's then bringing traffic back to the website. Okay, and you can see the picture that's building up now. So. Everything's coming back out. The website is now starting to direct traffic back into the website. And this strategy has proven to increase website traffic from anything from 25% upwards. Um, again, it really depends on your starting point. But if you've got um, 5,000 visitors a month to your website, 25%, quite huge, quite huge, just through content marketing, people, people back through your social media. Um, the other strategy, again, to um, deliver on ge generate uh, on online leads is your pay per click marketing. Earlier, we talked about SEO be being uh, Russian roulette, if you like. Well, pay per click marketing is um, highly, highly targeted, and it's not that expensive, contrary to popular belief. As long as you know what you're doing, uh, Facebook ads is huge these days, um, and it's been a bit of a game changer. We'll go through that in a moment. But again, as well as delivering all your social media to website, we're delivering uh, Facebook ads to the website, and then also we're using Google AdWords as well. And it's going to a bespoke theme landing page, which again has generally got a video on there or a graphic with some key text in there to grab the attention. Because ultimately, what we want to do is get that get that email address so we can build that relationship up with our, our uh, potential lead. Um, so if we talk about Facebook ads just for a moment then, um, Facebook ads, as I said, very, very powerful uh, and has been a bit of a game changer uh, in, in the last year or deep this year. Um, last year, if uh, a business to business was saying to me, should I advertise on Facebook ads? Um, I'd say it's very, very difficult. I wouldn't say it's impossible. I'd say it's very difficult and it's not something I'd recommend. Um, however, However, there's been a bit of a game change, as I mentioned. Um, first of all, um, it, it's it, it, it's getting more popular to get your brand out there, um, and it is a great it's great for brand awareness. Um, you, normal what we call normal adverts um, are highly targeted, so we can target by geographic region, we can target by interests, sex, marital status, age, a um, whole number of different dimensions. So highly, highly targeted, um, uh, and that will give us um, higher click-through rates, so higher results. However, the game changer, the big one, is the building a custom audience. 
let me explain this to you this is huge okay you can you can input um, your database as an example into Facebook now and it will recognize and go and match any of the email addresses you've got from your database um, to their login details on Facebook and as long as it's the same you can place specific ads into um, Facebook uh, and, and to that audience so you can put a bespoke message to that audience based on the fact that they're in your database you can also build a custom audience um, and remarket back from your website. So let me explain that a little bit further. Anybody that visits your website, there's a little bit of code that, that we could take from Facebook and put it in there. Facebook knows that they've been to your website. We can then build a specific advert for that website, or indeed you can. Um, that's, so it's again tightly themed, tightly marketed. And that list continually builds um, from the people that visit your website um, for up to 180 days it rolls so again very 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 powerful so we can now build a custom audience that is a game changer because what we can now do is we can direct traffic to the website and through remarketing on Facebook if they're on Facebook um, we can then get your message across to them so it, it doesn't matter who it is whether it's business to business or business to consumer as long as they've been to your website we can get them if they're in your database we can then market back to them that is very powerful stuff that is a game changer guys um, I'm gonna hand over to Neil Neil will talk to you a little bit now about Google AdWords because uh, I mentioned earlier Google uh, Neil is the expert in Google thanks mate right Google is really a slick business machine and one of the main reasons why it's so difficult nowadays to get SEO is because they're guiding people towards Google AdWords. They want people to pay for their listings. Um, so whilst we spent a lot of the time investigating and practicing their techniques, you look closely into search and you can see that there is a really a focus on pushing everyone away from SEO to paid search. So Google, the primary search engine for the UK, and there are many different techniques to advertise the landing page on Google. So search is the first one. 88.8% of the market share in the UK as of last month. So if someone's searching for something, they're probably going to be using Google. We use search to target extremely relevant search terms, which are intended to get you a lead. This is the most expensive type of pay-per-click, but can provide the best conversions. And when I say extremely relevant search terms, if somebody's looking for, these are the kind of longer tail ones as well. Um, if somebody's looking for something very specific for your business, um, whether it's in a via location or via the yeah, description of the product, and there are there are kind of buying signals within that search term, we'll be able to make sure that that is in the right place at the right time to be able to, to get people to land on your page, as well as making sure that the page is fit enough to be able to accept that member of that, that traffic and be able to convert it. Secondly is the display network. Now the display network is getting larger and larger and uh, it really is an underused resource with many businesses. So these are mainly images or banner ads that are shown on other websites but text can also be used as well. What what are great about these is they can be used for brand, or brand awareness as well as direct response. So Google allows you to create image ads, up to 19 image ads of various sizes, which can be put onto um, people's websites. And they've got a very, they should have a, a brand on it, so a logo, um, maybe a click now button if it's if it's direct response to you, you're interested in. A very strong message and a very strong image on there. But it doesn't have to be just image ads. It can be video adverts, it can be animated adverts it could be kind of slides so you have uh, you know one message laid upon another so typically with these type of adverts they're shown a thousand times uh, and click once for every thousand times it's shown so 0.1 percent what we call a click-through rate now this isn't bad actually for the display network and it, and it shows you that that it really is a good brand awareness tool I mean for you only get charged for that single click so your, your advert's being shown about a 1,000 times. But these are lower cost than search, a lot lower cost than search. So we use them quite a lot to be able to um, bring relevant traffic in. And there's various ways that we can actually target these adverts. So keywords, for example, you can say to Google, right, show my advert on a page which is relevant to these search terms. 
Now, if we're doing search marketing, we've got a whole list of search terms that are very relevant to your website and the page that we're trying to promote. So uh, keywords is one very, very good one, and that will bring quite a bit of relevant traffic in. The second one is, is placements, and placements are you suggesting which websites an advert should go on. Now, these websites, they, they can't be your competitors. It would be, be crazy to be able to put your advert on a competitor's website. The, the adverts show on websites which people agree to showing their adverts. And you get a lot of information websites. You get a lot of websites where people are um, looking for information about your product or service. Maybe they're the comparing types. So placements is another one. And if you're clever, you can get some really good website um, placements, which are very relevant to your business on very big, powerful websites. You know, Press sites, for example, a lot of those have um, Google Display adverts. Okay, um, we can also target adverts by topics, by interests, by gender, and by age even. Now, the topics is an interesting one. So you can show adverts on websites which are relevant to a certain topic that you deal in, or a somebody who's got an interest so just like facebook although not to their extent um, google can identify the interests of people based on where they go what they've been doing on the internet now next one is remarketing now mike mentioned that you put a bit of code on the site and facebook is able to identify um, that somebody's been on your site and can show them adverts. And it's exactly the same thing for Google. Now, so remarketing has been around probably about two years now. And one of, the, one of the great parts about remarketing is that you can be very, very clever with it. So you can identify parts of your website that people have been on to be able to send to them specific advertisements. So if they've been on one certain product, you can send them that advert. If they have been on your website and like what they see and have contacted you, you do not have to send them adverts because they're already a lead. So you can be very clever in the way that you actually um, target adverts. You can do a combination of where they've been and decide based on that traffic flow what adverts you provide to them. Um, engagement. Now, engagement. Mike's touched on the videos. So the videos are, the engagement is similar to displaying a video on the screen. And you've probably seen it. If you have an advert in the top right hand corner, which is an image saying hover over me or click me, then in the middle of the screen, a video will appear. And that's the engagement adverts. This is very, very good for brand awareness. And um, at the bottom of that video, you're able to put a message and a click. We've noticed some very, very good uh, traffic results from the engagement. So in summary, Google AdWords, you have the search, which is very, very relevant search terms, people coming in and using Google, 88%. This is very, very highly targeted traffic. Display network, this is adverts coming in from other people's websites in various forms, image, video, text, um, what we used to call flash, um, slideshow type things. Remarketing, a very clever tool to be able to continually advertise to people who have been on your website and being clever in our marketing to be able to bring them back based on what they've done on your website. Engagement, a good way to be able to promote the videos that you've done, be able to promote your business and bring relevant traffic into your website, not just as a brand awareness, but also as a direct response. Great, thanks a lot, Neil. Um, so, the content marketing and the pay per click is now starting to fill your sales funnel. So you've got your hot leads, and we need to turn those opportunities uh, into prospects, quotes, and ultimately new customers. Um, so, how do we do that? Well, generally, the rule of thumb um, is to give them a great info product, give them something of content and value, and that can be a report, ebook, infographic, um, but ultimately, it should be downloadable. Um, depend on your budget. I mean, if 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 you can give something physical away, um, 
then all well and good. Um, however, if you're going to make it a system, downloadable works because you haven't physically got to intervene. So, for example, if you go to 21stcentury.com, um, beg your pardon, if you go to 21stcentury.co.uk, um, then you can download our ebook and just by putting your name and address in there and you get it straight away. Um, that's ideal because we don't want to wait for the. For for, for what's going to give us great content and great value. So make it compelling. Um, another report that we give away is um, six ways to transform your website to a lead generation machine, which is also quite popular. Um, so make it as compelling as you can. Um, then once you've got their information, um, it's a smart thing to do is set up an email marketing system. Um, so these are systems that are designed to build your database up, build your list up, and then send emails to them at specific designated points in time after they have what we call opted into your, your database. Um, again, it's not something you want to do manually because as you build that database up into hundreds and hopefully thousands upon thousands, you can't send out individual emails. It needs to be sent out automated on um, autoresponders. You've got to take baby steps, okay? So generally what we look at is a 10-step email campaign. So we want to thank them. You know, first thing to do, they have taken an interest in what we're offering them. Thank them. Make them feel for warm and welcome. Um, and also, at that stage, you can invite them to your social media so you can keep in touch with them on social media too. So you can give them more value, more content. So why not do that? Uh, and then continue to give value and educate them and build that relationship up with them. Um, people aren't going to buy from you um, from... Yeah, you know, the first point of contact. They may buy from between four and seven, but there's some fairly new statistics out that says it takes 10.2 times of contact before they will buy from you. Really depends on the industry and what the offer is, um, whether it's um, something that they need now or, or in the future. It really depends on your offer. But you've got to build a relationship up with them. Then make them an offer. Make them an, a, a compelling offer to transact with you uh, in some way. Um, so, for example, 21st Century Digital Marketing, um, our offer is to do the free review of the, their online marketing. Uh, and, and that proves to be very, very popular. Um, but you've got to reinforce the offer and you've got to put a deadline on it as well. Um, so on our email system, there's a deadline in terms of days to offer that to them because we want people to take action. Uh, and, but we don't take action without deadlines. Um, so generally the deadlines will work uh, to get people to take action to, to do what you want them to do um, indeed if they do and if they don't that's absolutely fine because then you can do what we call a mop-up process after which after which is uh, don't sell to them just just keep giving them content and information um, depending on your industry again um, you could do it weekly you could do it monthly but I wouldn't do much more than that because you want to keep your brand in their mind at all times. Um, but do it in a way that continues to build a relationship with them, not destroy the relationship. And as I mentioned earlier, do that on autoresponders. Make it automatic. Get the process automated. Um, then the next stage is really you've, you've got to measure your, your results. Um, and, and the best way to do this really, or one of the smart ways of doing this is through Google Analytics. Google gives you a whole heap of information now uh, in terms of measuring the results of what it is you're trying to deliver. And again, I'll now hand over to Neil, who will just kind of touch on that a little bit for you. Yeah, thanks. And I, I want to start off with a quote from a guy called Jeff Eisenberg. He's a, he's a very well-known internet marketer. It's much easier to double your business by doubling your conversion rate than by doubling your traffic. Now, you need to know what is happening with your traffic. Time spent analyzing your analytics is time well spent. So what do we look for? Normally, as a daily task, I look at acquisition on the left-hand side. Um, when you sign into your analytics, um, I'm assuming that some people do have analytics, but if you, if, you, if you don't, then we need to put them in so you can actually see what is actually happening on your website. So on a daily task, acquisitions, I look at all traffic. It tells us where the traffic comes from and what conversions we've had for each of these traffic sources, what leads we've, we've achieved and from where. So we look at things like bounce rate. And I just want to explain what bounce rate is because people get very confused about bounce rate. Bounce rate. One person goes onto your website and comes off that page. That's 100% bounce rate. One person goes onto your website and goes to another page. That's 0% bounce rate. So the average is the number of times people have gone on and come off and gone on. So if you're looking at a bounce rate, I'd say 
target less than 40%. The lower the bounce rate, the more people are traveling around your website. So landing page strategy is a little bit different. A landing page gets rid of unwanted options. We want them to do one thing only, contact us or use the lead generation techniques that we put in place, whether it's a sale or whether it's a lead. So bounce rates are higher on these kind of pages. So we could start looking at things like average time on page, mouse movements even. There's lots and lots of ways to be able to identify um, ways to be able to improve the conversion of these, these sites. And our analytics explain it to us. So we used to be able to identify uh, search terms. We can't really identify them that much anymore because Google are locking all of that information down. We can link what we call webmaster tools with our analytics and be able to see some of these. And our web, webmaster tools account gives us more insights into the website, especially in the area of search terms. So there's a kind of linking process, particularly if I, if I just go back to the AdWords, there's a linking process between your Google AdWords, your analytics, and your webmaster tools. And these should all be linked up so that you're able to see what your advertising is actually providing, what bounce rates for, for pages, for keywords, for ad groups, et cetera. Now, um, you can also compare your uh, paid search terms against your organic search terms. So it's very, very important to set up Google Analytics. Uh, another area of Google Analytics that I've, I've brushed on, which is where I'm saying I'm looking every day to see what my, my lead conversions are, you need to be able to set up these goals. So a goal is if somebody's come onto your page and then filled out a form and gone onto a thank you very much page, on that thank you very much page, there would be a bit of code for Google AdWords to class it as a conversion, or in your Google Analytics, it would register as somebody's been on this page and you can traffic you can trace everything back to where that source came from and when you know where that source came from you can then increase your revenue spend in that area to be able to maximize your revenue uh, for your business and for your lead generation Cool. Thanks, Neil. And then ultimately, it's about results, about the results that you get. So you then once those the results come through Google, you need to measure them through in terms of what's converting um, and ultimately into, into sales. Um, so let's just recap here. Um, so we've talked about analytics uh, and we've talked about the landing page. Uh, we talked about videos and how they can help you. Um, we've talked about social media, content marketing. We have talked about Google Ads. Uh, and how Google Ads can, can be cost effective in the, 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 the three of the four different methods and Facebook ads. Uh, we talked about email system setup uh, and how important that is to have the right system ready to go. Um, a 10 step email campaign that's automated so you don't miss your prospect. And ultimately, that info product that is um, uh, the ethical bribe, if you like, to, to exchange for their. Um, their email address so you can build that relationship with them and then something we offer which is support and strategy we actually um, offer those as well um, to clients um, because if you don't have support and strategy in whatever you do um, generally um, you won't achieve what you want to achieve and your ultimate goals and objectives um, so if you find that kind of daunting um, <laughs> as most of us would because there's a lot a lot there that, that to take in um, you know and, and you know you can split clients into different ways um, or businesses into different ways. Um, some that know what they should be doing um, but don't know how to do it. Some that don't know what to do or how to do it. And some that do know what to do and are doing it. Um, but it depends on the businesses as well and what it is they do. So um, guess what? Um, we can help. Um, and we, again, pretty much like we do in the emails, we're offering uh, free online marketing, a free online marketing review if you qualify. I'm just going to come out of this very, very quickly so you may see the screen go funny. I'm just going to put a little um, offer there for you, um, which is for the um, for the survey. Um, so no, sorry, not, not for the survey, for the review. Um, and we'll look at your current online marketing for you um, and we'll review your website, look at um, tips and make recommendations to what can be improved to help you convert um, your, your visitors into leads and we'll look at your social media channels too. Uh, we'll identify gaps and the opportunities um, within those 
um, and we will list those down together and we'll show you how you can generate leads for your business fast okay so we can help you with that but you've got to qualify and to qualify you've got to be the business owner okay um, you've got to be the decision maker because one way or the other um, whether you do it yourself or you use us you're going to have to invest okay you're going to want to generate more quality leads um, and you've got to see the advantage of the review and how you could work with us um, and you've got to be as I mentioned you've got to be in a position to invest in your marketing and it is an investment any marketing that you do um, again whether it's with yourself or whether you engage 21st century uh, it's about investing you've got to be able to measure it um, to invest you getting your money back um, and you've got to be able to come to our offices or meet in uh, on Skype or Google Hangouts um, it says sky there it should have been changed to Skype so apologies for that but it's Skype um, again spaces are generally limited within the weeks that we can do um, the the um, the reviews um, so you know, we need people to act now um, so if you are seeing the recording um, I'm going to put the link in below uh, so you can actually email us um, but it's just literally going to the email address um, we've got 10 spaces that are available um, right now uh, so if you would like to fill one of these up just enter your details now and we'll call you back and make an appointment it's as simple as that uh, and we will look to try and help you as much as we can so just to recap how we can help we'll look at your current online marketing we'll review your website and social media channels identify the gaps and the opportunities and we'll show you how you can generate uh, leads for your business fast so thank you guys for attending uh, and thank you to Neil I hope you found it really really informative and um, if you'd like any more info um, there's the email address for us info at 21cdm.co.uk uh, give us a call 01908 596210 if you'd like our ebook um, that I mentioned earlier um, and that's showing you how again getting traffic for your website 70 different tips uh, and strategies in terms of getting leads and sales for your website just go to www.21stcenturydigitalmarketing.co.uk uh, thank you very much and thank you. thank you neil thanks everybody bye